What is up everybody? Today we're going to be exploring Miami's fastest growing neighborhood called Wynwood. You may have heard of it. It was featured in the GTA 6 trailer. It is a real neighborhood here in Miami and it has exploded in growth. I mean, we're going to go through all of the neighborhood. We're going to check out some major developments that are already open, some that are still in the construction, and then give a little history of this neighborhood because it is crazy what it once was and what it has become. Okay, we are now walking between our first development and I say between because this building tallest one and this building are the same property this is 29 win it's an apartment building with two buildings across from each other and they have studios three bedroom apartments we're actually going to get a tour of one of the units today it's a self-guided tour from an app that i never heard of hopefully it works but check this out this is mind-blowing if you see what it looked like before any of these high rises and we've got another building coming up across the street it will blow your mind. Cool thing about what they're doing with apartments in uh, Wynwood is they're not just building apartments or condos, they are actually adding retail at the bottom so it benefits everyone in the neighborhood, whether you live here or not. For example, we're gonna have a Cafe Grumpy that is scheduled to open soon right here at the ground level. And then across the street, there is a Studio 3, which is basically a gym. And you can see that over there across the street. And then over here, Bar Tulio's, not sure if it's open yet, but that is something that has uh, been developed at the ground level, adding retail and restaurants to this development. All right, so this is the inside of 29 Wynn before we go up to do our apartment tour. So this will be the front desk area where you get some assistance. We've got the mailboxes here, and then we have the elevators right there. There's also a mail room for larger packages. Love the light fixtures. I'm gonna whisper because People actually live here, but this is the lounge area. You can see there's various things to do here, kind of relax, take in the Wynwood views. Okay, so we just made it inside of the apartment. We're on the ninth floor. That was so cool. I just literally hovered my phone. I pressed unlock on the app, hovered it, and it unlocked the door. Put my scooter here, because I'm not bringing it any further. It is kind of dirty. You can see a Tom Ford book right on this table. Artwork on the wall, always nice. There's a closet just straight ahead. And then in here, we have a washer dryer, which is always nice, especially when you have a limited space. Sometimes they have it somewhere else in the building. You got to share it with other tenants. Here we have a bathroom. This is our first bathroom that we come across. So let's go into the first bathroom. Really nice. Love the lighting around the mirror there. Everything is so clean here. Obviously it hasn't been used yet, but I'm just amazed by it. everything is white, vibrant, uh, bright so this is uh the shower is with glass stand-up shower no tub i wish it was a rain shower head but still nice now let's go ahead and walk down this way and into our first bedroom so we got two nightstands across love the way they've decorated it got a rug going around the bed just stand at the entrance of the room so you guys can get a, a view of it and see the size it's not that big but i think i would make use of it if i lived here it looks like just enough for me. We're gonna talk about the view in a bit. This is the closet. I wish it was a walk-in closet, but granted we are very limited in space here. And then here is the view outside. You can see that big building they're constructing that takes up a whole block is just right there. Smorgasburg is across the street right there. So I don't doubt it based on the height of that building. Eventually they might construct an apartment building here that could obstruct your view. So that is a bummer. With the pace Windwood is going at, I wouldn't be surprised. But for now, this looks like really great views. And I love that it's not just a window, it is multiple windows, even at the bottom as well. And of course we have the kitchen and dining area, all in one because, you know, making good use of space. I love this living room. It is just as airy and bright as the bedroom with the triple windows. You've got them on this side and this side. Let me know in the comments throughout this tour what you think of this unit. And then we'll talk about the price because if you guys heard of the studios going for a good amount of money, you can imagine a two bedroom would be through the roof. But let's get a little close up of the kitchen area. I love the decorations they've used for the kitchen. Got some trail mix. I'm not sure if I can take one, I might take one. Got your stove here, oven. Got your refrigerator over here. Holy hell. Next bedroom. So this is our second bedroom of two. Again, big open windows. Absolutely love that. Then here is the bed space. 
I don't know which one's bigger. Honestly, they look like the same size, just kind of taking a guess at it. I just, uh, the decoration really fits and suits this place because it makes me just feel so at peace and calm. So I think this would, now that I'm looking at the closet, before I show you the rest of it, I think this might be the bigger room. Okay, it has a walk-in closet, first of all. The other one did not. So literally standing in the closet, that's a plus. Then uh, the bathroom looks a little bit bigger, so you can actually walk a little bit before you get into the shower area. And you're not sharing it, so this bathroom here is exclusively for the bedroom. All right, so I just looked at the floor plans and compared it to this one. This is about 1,046 square feet, two bed, two bath. The range in price right now is from $3,999 a month to $4,250 a month here in the 29 Win West building. So this unit will run you quite a bit of money. Okay, all right, we just made it in. It's a surprise with these because they just kind of give me access codes to uh, our different units. This is the one bedroom. So one bed, one bath. Maybe if you don't have enough money, or don't need two bed, two bath, then this might be your choice. Let's start. So right out the bat, we see pretty much everything in one view. The door's literally right here, park my scooter here. Kitchen, similar to what we saw. Let's see the snacks, I'm more intrigued by that. And there it is, oh, looks like a little less here. More people are visiting the one bedroom based off the snack level. That's a good, uh, good metric. All right, so we start off seeing the kitchen area which looks similar in a sense to what we saw in the other one. We have open living room space over here. And this is actually the same, kind of the same view. So we were somewhere over there, that unit over there. So like I said, a building goes up here and it's gonna obstruct your view. You kind of have a little bit of the building here blocking. So we see here, bathroom, stand up shower again, same thing we saw over there. Look at this closet, wow. Honestly, if I was living here, you know, one bed, one bath, and I did not plan on having many guests, it wouldn't be so problematic having a shared bathroom, you know. This is nice, bathroom here, closet here. It's a big closet, let me stand here and give you guys a top-down view. It is a spacious closet. I would not mind this as a closet space. I am so curious to know what the price is. Oh my goodness, this, this is nice. I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm a fan of the one bed. I don't need all that space. Here is the bedroom. Again, with the same view out the window. And let me get a little top down shot here of all of this space here. It's a decent sized bedroom. All right, I've decided to sit down while I look at this. So this is, a 710 to 715 square foot apartment, $2,999 a month, and it ranges up to $3,549. I'm comparing it to the layout. This is, by the way, on apartments.com. Comparing it to the layout because there's some one bedrooms that just look different. The one I just told you the price of matches the exact same layout and size as what we just walked through. All right, so I think that's gonna wrap it up for 29 Win. We got plenty more to go see in Wynwood. So without further ado, let's go back out there in the Florida heat. We can see there's no shortage of, uh, well, it's gonna get to that point, but right now there is still development space. It says development site for sale, 11,300 square feet. Just a block from where I showed you guys that vacant lot is another one by the same company. This one's a bit smaller, 10,300 square feet, but it is open for development. We've got 27 and 28 wind, which are apartments right over here. I guess it's easier to show you here. This is where I'm standing. That vacant lot is right over here. But if you look, this is uh, the building that I'm standing right across from. Look at that. It looks like there was just a house there and just grass all around it. And that is, uh, looks like the house is still there, but you can see around the house they've developed it into what is 27 and 28 wind. And that is 28 wind right across the street right there. We're gonna go get a close up of that. It says now leasing. Okay, so I am on the website trying to figure out how much the rent is. So suppose I want a studio, which would be the smallest. 
I am seeing, wow, 497 square feet of space is $2,086 a month, all the way up to $2,715 a month. Holy crap. And if we check the two bedroom, insane. So you're not even getting a thousand square feet of space here and it is 3,849 a month and it can go up to as high as uh, almost $5,000 a month. That is absolutely crazy. And it doesn't even look like they have balconies really. I mean, I'm looking up at least from this side of the building, kind of just have windows there and some like, what looks like it would have been a balcony, but it's just flat against the window. That is crazy what they're charging. Okay. Here's a fun one. Check out this architecture. This is Wynwood Atriums. Wow, it looks like they have retail for lease or office space towards the bottom of the building. Good use of space. Let's go ahead and find out how much rent is over here. All right, so it looks like they don't have availability here, but they are described as micro units. So there's only one bed, one bath, 736 square feet. I can only imagine how much they were charging for that little amount of space as you guys saw with the other building. But yeah, they're advertised as 32 fully furnished turnkey micro units with ground level retail and flex office spaces. It is a five story uh, building here in Wynwood. All right, I'm standing in front of Nomad Residences. Construction of a mega residential building spans from this street all the way down to the other block. Absolutely crazy. Nomad Residences in the heart of Wynwood, Northwest 2nd Avenue is right over here. This is where a lot of the activity takes place. We've got Smorgasburg setting up over here. A lot of different local food vendors come together and sell their, their best treats, their best food drinks, all that good stuff. This is the place to be right here, Northwest 2nd Ave. And they're building it right in the heart of it. We can see a render just across the street. Crazy. And the units, again, are gonna have studios just under 500 square feet for a studio. I mean, as we walk down, I'm gonna show you what used to be here whole lot of nothing. Okay, so prices for Nomad Wynwood, 464 square feet through 624 square feet, starting at $646,900. One bed, one bath, 528 square feet to 806, 904,900. And then the two bed, two bath, 804 square feet, 931 square feet from $964,900. So it is a little noisy here with all this construction behind me. I wanna talk about two businesses that have actually left or are planning to leaving due to the crazy development here in Wynwood. One of them is Wood Tavern. They've been in business here in Wynwood from the jump. Like when this thing was popping and everyone would come out, including myself, Wood Tavern was the place to be. They had some trouble, tried relocating outside of Wynwood and then ultimately decided to go out of business. That happened earlier this year. Another business, Jay Wakefield Brewery in Wynwood has announced that they're leaving Wynwood due to the changing landscape of the neighborhood and one can only imagine what that means this is an active construction site look at this i would have never thought winwood would be going this route mega apartment buildings all right our next spot on 25th street this is society winwood let's see if we can walk through a little bit talk about it okay it looks like they also have an opening that you can walk through. We're getting an aerial view right over here showing uh, just how big the building is. All right, so this apartment building has 318 units. They have a co-living option so you can have uh, roommates and pay obviously a lot less in rent. But the studios as of now start at 2,575. Again, retail and restaurants at ground level. Nacho Daddy is coming here soon. I've tried it in their Las Vegas location. So this is one of the newer developments. It was actually built 2024 this year. I have a list of the retail that's actually coming here. So we saw Nacho Daddy is one of the options. According to the website, Bodega is gonna come here. Dave's Hot Chicken, which is insanely popular. Just opened a location in Pembroke Pines about 35, 40 minutes north of here and a Starbucks. So really cool use of uh, ground level space here at Society Wynwood. All right, we're in front of Wynwood 25, of course, on Northwest 25th Street. This is the first large scale apartment building in Wynwood since they rezoned it for expanded residential use in 2015. It is absolutely massive from the ground level. Again, you've got your retail options at the ground level. Uchi, I saw salt and straw all the way down there. There's another business right there called Studs. And of course you have on top the apartments. This one's a little bit interesting. So this one looks like it goes from a studio to a three bedroom. 
uh, studio starting at 2,255 a month. And then they also have a three bedroom penthouse, which is uh, unheard of in Wynwood. Imagine having a penthouse in Wynwood for $7,000 a month. Of course, like I said, three bedrooms. I like how for the advertisements uh, of the retail coming, there's <laughs> graffiti all over it. Never change Wynwood, never change. <laughs> I am standing literally across the street behind me, or I guess above me is Wynwood 25, which we just talked about. Across the street is Moxie Hotels by Marriott. This has not opened yet. I heard it might open uh, at some point this month, if not September, but it is almost ready to go. Absolutely crazy to think about a hotel in Wynwood. But now they've got apartment buildings, uh, hotels, at least two that I can think of, Arlo Wynwood and now Moxie Hotels, right off of 25th Street. All right, right behind me is Amley Wynwood. This is on Northwest 25th Street. This building offers a studio all the way up to three bedrooms. You can see it is quite the size. Studios start at, here we go, $2,700 a month for a studio. Nonetheless, they have 316 units spanning across all of this and it looks like they have a little walkway we can go through right there in the middle and we can see across the street it looks like they haven't filled up the ground level but it is now leasing for retail space it says retail restaurant and services at the ground level i mean they've got a lot of space they're going from all the way over there several businesses can fit here then several businesses can fit all the way down there here's a picture of one of the units I absolutely love that they're adding this uh, kind of walkway through the building so you can just cut through because the blocks are pretty long here in Wynwood. So it's really nice that you get this option to just kind of take a shortcut. But you can see they have balconies for the most part. Some buildings we saw earlier did not have and there's more retail space available along the interior. So this next one is actually not on my list of places to check out, but I just stumbled upon it. It is called Strata. Wynwood, more apartments. We're on North Miami Avenue this time and 23rd Street. So according to the website, rent for a studio that is 527 square feet is available now and costs $2,800 a month. You've got one for 561 square feet and it is a one bed, one bath for $2,650 to $2,675 a month. Let's check out how much the two bedroom, that's the most you can get there. So the most expensive two bedroom is 1,121 square feet and it is $4,360 a month here in Wynwood. Holy crap, cheapest two bedroom I'm seeing is 3,770 and that is 976 square feet of space and they're all available now. But yeah, this is it, Strata Wynwood. Seeing a bunch of construction workers, that's the norm here with all the buildings being constructed left and right, no matter where you look. This is an apartment building more buildings over there off in the distance more cranes and more buildings more temporary elevators going up towers that are still being built and that right there is arlo winwood which is the first hotel in winwood pretty nice now that we have uh, moxie coming in as another hotel coming to the area and you can see a lot of these buildings are for sale no doubt will be demolished this one's for sale that one at the end is for sale just showing you guys a little up close, this is Arlo Hotel. You can see they've got a rooftop pool over there. They've got a little terrace right at the midsection of the building and it just all around looks nice. Right now it's low season, so I think the rates are a little bit reasonable, but no doubt this must be a really nice place to stay at to get in all the action here in Wynwood. Okay, this is our Tim Wynwood, another apartment building, studio all the way up to a two bedroom. The studio is 514 square feet and I'm seeing it is going for $2,364 as a starting price. But they do have balconies up there, unfortunately across the street. Depending on how high you are up the building, this will be your view. So this across the street from Artem Wynwood is called Wynwood Plaza. It's gonna have offices. No doubt this will be the office space. And there's also gonna be 21,000 square feet of retail and restaurant, probably somewhere along the ground level as we have seen. And then 12 floors with 509 apartment units ranging from studios to two bedrooms. Right behind me is the Dorsey. This is another apartment space. They also have uh, 
shared uh, working spaces as well that you can rent. I believe it's on the ninth floor. There's a signage there. It's called Industrious. They're advertising some walk-in tours. I don't care about it, but for the apartment is what I'm interested in. So for a studio starting from 474 square feet to 560 square feet, you're looking at a starting price of $2,465 a month. One bed, one bath is $2,795. That's the starting price. And it goes all the way up to a three bedroom, up to a two or three bathroom, starting from $4,850 a month here at the Dorsey. So this neighborhood dates back to the early 1900s. It was just farmland, as you would imagine. In 1917, there was a contest held for basically naming the neighborhood and Windwood won, which as you guys know today, it doesn't have the D. So that would have been W-Y-N-D, Wood. Now it's dropping the D, it's just Winwood. So I think that's a pretty cool fun fact. Anyways, it became a garment district, warehouses, factories, industrial. Uh, Coca-Cola had a plant here at some point in, the, in, the, in its history. And then coming into more recent times, the warehouses started transforming into uh, art galleries, uh, restaurants, bars, attracted a lot of people. This is like within the past, I would say 20 years. A man by the name of Tony Goldman bought up a bunch of warehouses in the early 2000s, basically to turn these warehouses into canvases and just allow artists to go, go to town basically with graffiti and all the various artworks. And that's what we see today. But now we're into another transformation where yes, art is still a part of it, as you guys can see. So now we're seeing hotels and apartment buildings and a lot of, honestly, it's, it's kind of heartbreaking. Some of the original, um, at least within the past 15 years that have been in Wynwood um, have been forced out because of rising rent costs for businesses. So I think that's unfortunate, but I'm honestly very curious to see where this trajectory is going, whether the growth will continue, whether this will actually attract a lot of people uh, more so than it is today. Uh, coming in to spend their money here in Wynwood. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me. I myself have not explored Wynwood in years like we did today. So I am so happy I was able to do it with you guys, explore things that I didn't even know were coming. I made a list of buildings I wanted to check out and ended up getting off that list and looking at things that I'm just passing by and wondering what the hell is that? That wasn't there last time I came. So it's just massive with the growth that is going on right now in Wynwood. It is crazy. Grand Theft Auto 6, I was thinking about that game the whole time. I'm like, wait, when did they come survey Winwood? Because when they did that, chances are it looks completely different today. So hopefully they keep things a little bit accurate. Because if it looks like how it did when GTA 5 came out or shortly after, then it's not going to match with the way it looks today. But still, Winwood is such a nice, vibrant neighborhood. Um, I recommend checking it out if you're ever in Miami. That's it. Leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell button. You'll be notified each time I upload a new video and I'll catch you in the next one.